This is a gorgeous mm. film, first of all. And I, 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 I mean, I, I think I underestimated I mean, just like looking at the title of it and reading about the film, I underestimated exactly what this undertaking was, especially the particular area that they are in. I mean, even this is about finding Noah's Ark, and there have been stories all throughout history of explorers who've seen this, uh, you know, astronauts who have seen, you know, from images from space satellite images, all kinds of stuff of this, of this shape, this arc-like shape frozen somewhere in the ice at the top of Mount Ararat. And to get there is no easy task because as we saw in the trailer, everyone around there hates each other. Set the stage for us here. I mean, just getting to the mountain, not even on top of it is tough. Yeah, I mean, get it. nice to be here, by the way. Thank you very much for having me. Of course. Um, yeah, it's, um, it was a really extraordinary experience for us. Um, first of all, getting to eastern Turkey, as you said, just that alone is difficult. Uh, we had to navigate many things. We had to, you know, firstly, get permission from the Turkish authorities, which is no mean feat at all. Uh, and then once you're there, you have to navigate the issue with the Kurds, which is, you know, there's multiple different factions on the mountain, the different tribes that have certain sections of the mountain. So when you're there, um, not only do you have to um, pay them mm -hmm. to go up their particular section, oh, wow. but you also, yeah, yeah, you also have to make sure you don't stray over to another mm -hmm. side because there's another pe another group that right. that will um, control the other side of that mountain. So, and I, yeah, and I, I saw mean, some of that, like in their in their ascent. Not to interrupt you, but I saw some of that in their ascent because they there were different groups that were handing off, and these were all of the different tribes. And everybody, every different tribe, got their own. I mean, you basically had to pay them all over again. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, there was a lot of other um, things that happened over there that complicated just getting there. For example, most people will say, "Oh, the ark, it's already been found." Well, if you think about it, I think that there would have been a bigger deal about it if it had already been found. Right. A lot of people talk about the Ron Wyatt site, which when you get there, and we do go there in the, uh, in the documentary, uh, we, we eliminate that site as a possibility. Uh, and there, it's funny, Dana, when we were there, we looked on, on the top. When we, the, the Ron Wyatt site is a very famous one that you see that looks like kind of like this. It's kind of right. like a boat. You know? right. And everyone says, oh, that's the one. And they've got the Ark, um, the Ark Museum there. And if you look at the top, from where the uh, where that arc shape is, the arc is. Mm -hmm. There's a on the horizon. You can see guard towers, and that's Iran. Wow! And so what we did in the documentary is we flew a drone over it, and the guy came over to us and said, uh, "Don't go too far because they'll shoot it down." <laughs> wow! So you know, I mean, it's it's really serious. And and as I said in the trailer, the Turks don't necessarily get on with the Kurds, who are by the way very very pro American. Right. Very That's ordinary. one of the things that I that I really walked away with too from this documentary is that not only were they the guides through certain sections of the mountain, but uh, they were your protection. And yeah. if you, if there was, you know, heaven forbid, an injury, if you fell, and there was a case of a man who had injured himself uh, while on the ascent. They are the only hope you have of getting any kind of assistance. And you don't really hear about, you know, their, their particular part and what they do for others in that part of the world. That was kind of interesting to see because they really were taking care of the people there. That's absolutely right. I mean, and they, they really, really respected the Americans. And I was kind of a, you know, although I am British, I'm an honorary American. And, and they really took care of us. And they, like, for example, towards the end of the expedition, they came up to us and they said, listen, guys, Al-Qaeda is in the local town. You guys need to leave because we can't always protect you all the time. So, that I mean, they're the good guys. They really are the good guys. They, they love Americans. They love America, obviously, with what happened in the last war where they were being mm. massacred and, and America stepped in and stopped it. It's a very big deal. So, I mean, just like I said, logistically getting there with the crew in the middle of nowhere. It's the biggest mountain by land mass and on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, so just getting there is, is a real feat, and that's right. without starting to climb the mountain.